When the game first came out, I didn't know what to make of it. It was this big thing that I just couldn't quite wrap my head around. Everything about it is kind of like slow and the momentum is going, you're not quite getting it. And then you realize that's the genius of it. It's engrossing you into the story and you become part of that world of that game. Father! Stay back, Mule. I didn't know what to make of it at first because it was a very unique and it was very slow paced and you had to get to understand the story and what had happened. But the more you explore the real world of Shenmue, when you get out of uh, Ryo Hazuki's house and into Yamanose and then Sakuragaoka, it opens up and suddenly you're drawn in and engrossed into this world, engrossed into the story of Ryo Hazuki who's trying to avenge his father's death. Father! No! And so getting drawn into that story was phenomenal because that, a video game had never done that before. Not like this where you had characters that you, know, you felt that you could relate to. Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. And that's why it has really created such a huge fan base of people that are utterly devoted to it. Because it just touched a part of your, your, your heart, your soul, your mind. It took a brave step in trying to really make you feel like you were part of this other culture, especially to us and those in the West. Like the world has been finely polished. You know, there's, there's weather, there's people in that community and they talk about stuff that they get up to. There's capsule toys and drinks that you can get out of the vending machine. And you really believe that you're in that environment. Hey, Joe. Hi, Megumi. There are parts of um, Dobuita Street that are almost identical to what you see in the game. And when you realize that level of attention of detail has been put into creating Shenmue, you appreciate the game even more so, because the game of Shenmue doesn't exist just within that disc or just within your console, it also exists in the real world. So it's a military surplus store, just like in the game, they're real, it makes you feel really authentic, I mean, it's kind of surreal seeing it, because you can't do anything with it in the game, but there it is, it's in real life, it's totally true. Uh, if you do go in there and ask about sailors, I'm pretty sure they know where they're hanging yeah, out. Yeah, they're, they're not that hard to find, actually. So we're standing outside Tom and Jack, which I'm uh, pretty sure is the inspiration for Tom's hot dogs in the game. Yep. It would be logical. Though there is no actual hot dog cart. Maybe there was in, you know, 30 years ago, I don't know. But remember, from Tom, you learn, uh, you, you learn a move, don't you? you actually, yeah, you the tornado kick. Yeah, tornado you learn kick. the tornado you kick from, from so... Do you actually ever end up buying a hot dog from Tom? No, but you eat one in a cutscene, but you never see him. He just says he's going to do it, and then it cuts. I'll have one next time. Um, so if you're a real Shenmue fan, uh, come to Tom and Jack's and find out what they do in there. Because we still we don't, don't know. know. We don't know. We don't know. No, no clue whatsoever. Really? Oh, they're building. Dude. Oh, they're, they're building, building stuff. Yeah, they're building stuff in there. So they're building something there. Uh, they're, they're just building, building the game things. at the moment. There, there's no food. It's a, it's a building right. still um, being worked. There's out. just wireframe models. There's no textures at, as yet. Yes. So once the development it's team the gets the It's the beta version of the building. <laughs> it's exactly what yeah, that is. It is the beta. When it's finished, it'll be a hot dog stand in the street. Eventually. With a dancing man, uh, with a very funny accent. Yes. Try my homemade pickles. They're guaranteed to make you happy. Uh huh. I'll drop by later. My mind is blown that Shenmue 1 and 2 are coming back for a brand new audience. It, it just means a lot and it says a lot that the community cares and that Sega cares and that we're still getting this. It's, it, it, I mean, for the longest time, we were so excited when we got a new t-shirt coming out. Now the actual game coming out is just amazing. And what I'm really excited about is going to bring a whole generation of people who missed out on Shenmue to get into Shenmue, appreciate the game and love it the way that we do. Just overall, man, it was such a transcendent experience, for lack of a better way of putting it. it. It just, it really was more than a game. It was an experience. That's the best way I can put it. You can't just play Shenmue. You, you live Shenmue. That's it. That's the life.